Hey guys and girls, it is Ashwin again, and what I'm bringing you here is my personal opinion on what I think is the best online mission I've come across so far for making money and getting your reputation points up, and getting your level up, and the reason I had the map up straight away there was because that's where you need to go at the end of the mission. I'd literally just done this mission, what, about 20, 20 seconds before, and that's why I'm spawned here with my nice little car, and what I'm doing right now is I am saving up to buy cars, some decent cars, and this is the... Audi R8 or it is the 9F Cabrio, whichever you want to call it. This cost me, um, I think, about 110, 120k. Uh, so not too expensive, and it looks it looks like a great car. But what you want to do anyway is bring up Martin on the phone, give him a call, and request a job, and then he will obviously send you one pretty much instantly. Um, this is the route I take all the time. Once you've done this mission a few times, you will figure out the routes and stuff. This is, in my personal opinion. The best way to do it and the best mission. The, the reason I've got it up there but not clicked the button, the X button right now to accept the mission is because sometimes in this area, I don't know why, it will, even though you're going this way, it will, after you've clicked on the mission, spawn you back in, in someone's driveway or facing the wrong way and it just takes those few seconds longer having to turn around. So I get to about here and then I click the X button to bring up the mission and you need to ideally make sure you've got an SMG on you. And it's got plenty of ammo in as well, because if this mission goes wrong, he will drive away. Um, it's really, really simple, this mission. It's so easy. Um, you, I, I think I've failed it once, because I totally fucked up like an absolute bell end, And that's about the only time I've done it. I've done it about 30 times, um, maybe even more. And I've only fucked it up once. He will, if you don't get him in time. I think you've got about a minute and a half until he reaches his destination. And then if he reaches that, then you don't get anything for this, unfortunately. But yeah... Bring up the SMG, make sure you've got it on at the start, and then what you want to do is you want to drive up behind this guy. Don't bump him, don't shoot straight away because it will spook him and then he will fuck off. And you want to press circle on the PlayStation controller, which focuses in nice and close on him and sort of like slow motion, and then just pop him off like that. That is literally how easy it is, guys. Um, I couldn't find the package at this point. I'm, I thought it was under my car, and it wasn't, and it was under the car behind me. Um, but that's how quick that's how quick it can be. There's been times where it, I've not been that successful, but it worked out perfect when I was filming this video. Um, and he will drive off, and you will will have to chase after him and try and pop him off. But it is relatively easy. You will get two cops on you as well, which is isn't the bad isn't a bad thing. Three is obviously worse because you get a helicopter. And I thought this bit was quite funny. That absolute Nimrod didn't have a helmet on or anything. He wasn't playing it safe at all. Drove into the side of my absolutely amazing car. I'm going to get all my cars in this green color. I think it looks quite cool. Um, I don't like your traditional red and stuff, but this is the route that I always take back. As I said um, right at the start, you will get used to the different routes, and I think this is the quickest way back. It's pretty much the way you came as well, so it's not too bad. Um, when you bring up, if you lose your cops on your way back, it, sometimes it, well, it will bring up the yellow marker and tell you where to go. And this mission would have been done a lot quicker if I, my driving wasn't so shit, crashing into trees, crashing into cars right at the start. But yeah, if you if you know the route back after a couple of times, I think it'll take three or four attempts, and you will know exactly where you're going. Even though the maps are so big, this little route is fine. And roundabout here, if you lose the cops about now, it will tell you to go straight up and to your right. But the quickest way is to go left here, because if you go to the right. There's a lot of turns and there's a lot more traffic. The, the roads are a bit thinner. Whereas if you go right here down this dirt road, you barely ever run into a car, if ever, if, unless it's a copper or something. But that is about the only time you'll run into a car down here. So it's a lot quicker, um, wider roads. And basically, if you wanted to keep repeating this mission to get $9,000 and about 960 RP, it does go up if you're with crew members or with friends or just with anyone in general the RP goes up I don't think the the cash goes up but you can just repeat it over and over again it doesn't take any time at all as you'll see here and that's like the third crash so I would have been done a good few seconds before but it takes about from start to finish from me making the call getting in my car getting there choosing like updating my ammo and stuff getting back here it takes it's, t it's taken me looking at the time now four minutes 25 seconds to get here some sometimes it will take a little bit longer sometimes you could even be a bit quicker if you were as shit driver as me uh, but this is this hopefully helps you get your cash up get your level up buy some nice cars i'm gonna save up probably for the not for the bugatti straight away but there you go 9000 it's 960 that's standard that's fixed now it does get a bit more at the start but the more you do it it just stays at that from now on but hopefully this video uh, helps you guys give it a like um, if it helped and subscribe if you're not already but thanks for watching have a great day hope you're having a great weekend and i will see you all later bye bye for now